Thank you, Mark. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here, obviously, to share the stage with these great developers and their amazing products. It's been uh, a real pleasure for us to work with NVIDIA on this RTX technology and to be able to share with you guys a little bit more about my core product. Chrome Games is an almost 20 year independent studio in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Over those years, we've developed and worked on so many different games and worked with so many different companies. Uh, but we've had the real pleasure in the last uh, six, more than six years, to work with uh, one of the great franchises, in our opinion, the, uh, the Mech Warrior franchise. So we announced. Met Warrior Online back in October of 2011. And that was, at the time, ending about a 10 year drought of uh, any Met Warrior games. The last uh, official game was released in 2002, that was uh, Met Warrior 4 Mercenaries. And so it's been a, a great time. We, we still run Met Warrior Online. It's, Still, uh, you know, a major part of our company, and um, has spawned uh, the MetCon that we started in 2016. Uh, we're up to our uh, third annual this coming year. But even after all those years, uh, the number one question asked by all of our fans and everyone we ever walked into was, you know, where the hell is MetWire Five? So we felt it was our, uh, you know, duty to make sure it got made, and we were essentially wanting to from the beginning. Um, this is one of the most beloved PC franchises of the 90s. If you're anywhere near my uh, age bracket, you remember them well. Uh, we were very pleased to be able to announce MechWare 5 at our MechCon in December of 2016. And uh, it will ship in 2019. We're going to be getting a specific launch date of this year's MechCon. And uh, this is ending a 17 year drop since the last uh, memory series of MechWare game. Mechware 5 Mercenaries, um, we took the Mercenaries rendition rather than going, normally they start with the story first and then go Mercenaries. For us, it was just a perfect fit. For me, they were the best because they offered the freedom, the freedom to really play out being in this universe and to manage a mercenary unit. Um, so we thought with leveraging all of our past six years at Mechware Online and all the content we could bring, we could we could fill a, a live marketplace with hundreds and hundreds of battle maps right out the gate. Um, our two pillars that were replayability. Uh, MechWare 5 was all randomly generated missions and, and uh, levels. And it, for the first time ever, had the four player co op mode. So we expect that people will be playing this game for hundreds of hours. You can do an entire career and then start again and choose a different house, a different starting location. And of course, the key to all mercenary games is to actively manage a mercenary unit, including finances, equipment, pilots, and of course, their stable battle maps. Now, we're going to move into the demo. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more as we move along. I've lost my cheat up here in my PowerPoint. But this, this hanger is a first for for MechWarrior games. I mean, in the past, you were, you know, you were restricted to imagining it. You know, you were in the front end of uh, the game and you were having to imagine, you know, when you're fixing your mechs or buying mechs. And for, the, for the first time ever, you're actually going to be able to physically wander around your hangar and here's where you can walk amongst your battle mechs, see the state of their damage, ongoing repairs, any customizations you have going on. Basically, be physically present to manage your unit. So, as you can imagine, this is the hub of our game. This is an incredibly important visual target for us. So, the RTX technology really opens up things that would otherwise probably not be possible to a small developer like ours, both with the great Unreal Engine and with the NVIDIA RTX technology. We can we can do things like this. So, let's we, first we're looking at this character and the. Uh, the shadows cast. If we can go to, uh, can we turn off the RTX technology? I mean, it, it's really a stark contrast. It's just, 
you lose so much, and when you turn it back on, you just realize, you know, what you've been missing. <laughs> it's just maybe the, the technology now has really opened our eyes to what, you know, what we had before, what the limitations were. Uh, we, we understand that more than ever now. And it just works. It just looks incredible. And you can go over here to the, we'll look at the, some of the uh, shadows coming off the railings. And, and it's just, this kind of attention, this kind of detail we just get now from the other presenters we're talking about. It's just, it allows us to not have to have, I, I don't even know how much our time, you know, it's, it saves the studio like ours. It's really immeasurable. So I'd like to take a look at the, I guess this is, Fountech is, is such a great universe because it's, it's well into the future, but it's so recognizable. It's still, you can imagine this is what a, you know, a hangar would look like somewhere where you would be repairing something today. And so this, in a science fiction environment like this, uh, this technology just really works so well uh, for these hard surfaces in the sci-fi environment. So we're gonna open the hangar door and bring in our Shadowhawk uh, battle mat for some uh, repair work here. And I wanna look, we'll focus in on the floor as the mech moves in. We really wanna see this types of reflections that we can now have with the RTX technology. We look a little further down there at this oil spills, messy technicians. We turn the, tech, the RTX off. I mean, this is, I guess, my final point here today is just, if you look at the reflection of the glass over there, you turn the RTX back on. Let's move a little bit behind the bottom line here and take a look. This is, this is a real easy one. This is a softball one from here because it just works. And if you turn the RTX off, uh, this would be an example of something where we would just have to change the design of our hand, probably, rather than trying to you know, make this work the old way. So, um, that's, uh, it's, been, it's just been incredible. And I just want to thank NVIDIA again. And we're just, one last point, just that we're going to grab the integrating and work with NVIDIA also on their uh, the great DLSS technology they announced 